uh, tech tip slash demo. I'm not going to give a demo here, but uh, tech tip, protect your privacy when downloading. Fact is, is whenever you're downloading, no one likes their online activity monitored. Therefore, let's talk about a few ways that we might protect our downloading privacy. Note, it would be, this is a note slash disclaimer here, it would be irresponsible to assume any of the mentioned in the latter here are foolproof. However, each method can increase your privacy. Also, HiWeb does not condone downloading of any copyrighted material. So let's, uh, let's move forward with this. Uh, so there are a few methods that you can use to employ, uh, use to employ uh, protection for yourself. Uh, which are basically setting up a layer of protection between you and those of those who might track you. Um, for instance, when downloading BitTorrent files on the internet, uh, a lot of uh, BitTorrent downloads may have little trackers built into them. And what you can do is run a program called Peer Guardian. Now, let's see if I have a link to that in here. I saw. Mackie B talking about that. So what Peer Garden or Peer Guardian is is it's a IP blocking application, and basically it has a constantly updated blacklist. Of, there's the, what it's called. It has a constantly updated blacklist of known addresses that are known to track your internet downloading activity. The first time you run Peer Guardian or install it. Uh, you have to go through a small setup wizard that asks you what kind of blacklist you'd want to use. Now, I used this in the past on some PCs, and I, I haven't used it on uh, OS X machine yet, um, but I, I plan on doing it. Because another thing it can do, not only can it protect you from these companies that are tracking you, but if you think of it, it could also uh, speed up your performance. So, you, so then you're not wasting time talking to these companies that are just tracking you know, BitTorrent downloads and internet use because there's a lot of legitimate reasons that people want to, you know, distribute content through BitTorrents. So um, you might check that out. You know, Peer Guardian is what it's called, and it's basically an IP blocking application that you also, if you do use it, you'll also want to make sure that you update it periodically because those blacklist IPs change. And uh, I also heard one thing looking into this that. Um, uh, someone had loaded on their computer and then they couldn't get to an IRC client or an IRC channel that they were used to getting to and they found out that the IP was actually listed as a blocked IP. Uh, in the past what I had seen it do is it also modifies I believe your local host table on your computer and uh, can can mess with stuff there. So if you do load Peer Guardian or use it just be, be uh, just uh, Hey, we'll see you, Mpop. Just be aware that it could hamper your uh, your ability to get at certain sites. But you could also you could always uninstall it to get back where you're at. So uh, that's uh, that was one method that I was talking about uh, here. So another method uh, which you'd use to obscure yourself with a proxy. There's no better solution than a good proxy. So there are many proxies out there. Um, one that I wanted to bring up and mention to you guys is something called the Tor Project. The Tor Project is something that will help you defend against traffic analysis in the form of network surveillance that threatens your personal freedom and privacy, confidential business activities and relationships, and state security. So this is something that's really cool if you guys want to download. Uh, again, it's uh, this one has actually been scrutinized to slow down your computer because it goes through a proxy that might be used by 10,000 people, but uh, it also can provide you with that great level of uh, you know, personal freedom, privacy, and, and, you know, confidential business activities, depending on whatever you choose to do. Uh, another method is you could also roll your own SSH proxy and set up your own proxy server and that sort of thing. So those are, I'll try to put some notes in uh, show notes about this, but uh, Peer Guardian is a good tool. And then uh, if you want to go the commercial route, I want to mention this, a company out of uh, Canada called BT Guard. What they do is they offer a proxy, a commercial proxy service, and they're actually charging seven dollars a month to uh, to use it. But uh, 
They have unlimited speeds, and you can bypass your ISP's bandwidth throttling. So if you're if you think your ISP is throttling your bandwidth, you could also potentially use a proxy server to get around that. With all the scrutinization about uh, scrutinizing about Comcast doing throttling, you could potentially use a, a proxy server uh, to get around those throttle uh, mechanisms. So. Uh, so the bottom line is, uh, you know, let's be safe on the World Wide Web. There's lots of information out there, and uh, it's a good idea to to protect yourself and and always be aware of what's going on. And you know, a lot of times these trackers, I, the way I look at it is they slow down your computer. So if you uh, if you load up Pure Guardian, you might just find that you get better performance when you're searching for information because you're not going to respond to all these companies that are just tracking your uh, your internet access and and what you're looking for so and it's again it's recommended that you perform daily updates on Peer Guardian uh, does anyone in chat have a link where people can get uh, Peer Guardian there um, what I know it's it's called P E E R G U A R D I A N 2 and I believe that they have it set up for a Windows distribution as well as a OS X distribution and uh, possibly others so that's what I want to talk about and again uh, just to throw that disclaimer you know HiWeb does not condone downloading any copyrighted material so these tools are just for your personal privacy when downloading information online okay